Uh, let's just go ahead and jump right in, and, and don't be shy, and, and let's ask a few questions, and we'll make this, basically this won't be a Q&A, this will just be a little conversation between you and, well, 300 of us. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Right. Did any of you ever ask or mention that they weren't actually the way teenage boys normally act, like the quoting poetry, and how do you make that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are you from? I love poetry. <laughs> Uh, I think it's worse now when you're on the internet all day. They've been dirty for four damn years. <laughs> These kids. Uh, nobody said anything weird business about me. Um, but I think that's what's cool about the movie. You know, that's I, I think that's what made it special because people see these tough, sort of cool-looking guys not behaving as you just said normally. Yeah, it's life or death in, in the movie. You know, so a little heightened. Yeah, I just had that that question next door. Um, it's funny because I said, well, you know, I was all 14 or 15, so if there was any interaction at all, you might have tousled my hair and pushed me aside or something. Uh, but I'm a huge Waits fan. I love him, man. I'd love to work with him now because I didn't know who the hell it was then. I was just like, dude, you took the last Cobra Christie treat. <laughs> That's all I cared about. Uh, but today, I would just, you know, be able to sit and talk to about so much more than big fan of this music and clearly Coldplay as well. Let's get a social question going. <laughs> Ooh, no social questions. Okay, back to you. <laughs> Come on, don't be scared. Got one social question. Okay, let's talk about the fountain drowning scene. Okay, go. What was going through my head? <laughs> oh my God, when's this going to end? <laughs> this is cold. It's very cold. You know, the one thing, I, I know we just talked about this in the other theater as well. It, uh, Tommy ended up getting sick, actually, for 10 days or so after that scene because it was really, really cold. And, uh, and Leif as well, I remember, he, you know, Coppola wanted him in the background of all the shots, uh, just lying there dead and wet. And so at one point, they had to stop stop filming because, you know, he was probably shorting in and he was, he, was, he was shaking too bad to be dead, so they had, they had to kind of wrap things up. But. Yeah, that was the tough part because, uh, you know, in the opening, I, I wake up, so I have to lay there and you, they would do things, okay, stop shivering. <laughs> um, okay. And say the same with Leif, you know, Leif, you're, you're breathing. Right? Yeah, kind of have to do that. <laughs> kind of have to do that. Um, so those are the, the things they don't teach you in acting class, right? It's like, you know, well, if you can hold your breath for eight minutes, they might use you in that death scene. <laughs> so that was a very uh, tough sequence for us to shoot. And Darren, Scary to shoot. Scary. Darren slid out of the uh, second tough one where, you know, we all met for the rumble. And on the first day of shooting the rumble, it poured rain. Well, of course, it was like a five-day shoot, the rumble, six-day shoot. And we didn't know what we were going to do until Francis said, well, bring in the rain guns. It's going to rain for a week out here. And so we had to, you know, adjust everything for the mud, which was also quite difficult. Why was the school bus full of kids at that abandoned school? <laughs> <laughs> it was a field trip. Was it a field trip? Yeah. 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 It was an old church field trip. Have you read the book? This isn't smart ass, but it'll sound like it. Have you read the book? Yeah. <laughs> and you will be asking these dumbass questions. <laughs> okay. Um, you mentioned a social question. I was curious, I heard from the Greaser's pers um, perspective, but when they gave you the, 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 when Francis did the class differing things, like giving you the plastic up the, and you the love, I've heard about the, the, the Oh, the social favoritism at the beginning. How did the socialists feel about that? We were in favor of it. <laughs> yeah, you could see what was happening. You could see, you could kind of get. I mean, you know, when when we went into the sporting goods store and these and you know, he pointed to this beautiful wall of like Adidas sweats and said, "You guys can have this." And then there was one rack of grays over here, and he's like, "And you greasers can have these." This is awesome. But, he was he was really good at creating a, an environment that helped us in every way that he could, you know, as 
well as the way that we came together. You know, he brought myself, I came in maybe th for the three or four weeks of rehearsal initially, and Leif came in maybe two days before filming. And so I had a chance to be a little bit more friendly, and then Leif really felt like an outsider. And uh, uh, so it was, it was just, it was amazing watching it all work. Okay, um, in the book, when Randy and Terry are talking, they talk about the sunset from the west side and east side, and the movie dialogue is north and south. Why is that? That's so clearly obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> I don't know when to make that on that. Um, you know what? To be honest, I, I, I haven't even really noticed I, that. I, I just, I just but you know what? I have been. I've been confused. <laughs> I've been like, wait a minute. <laughs> well, Susie wrote that screenplay. I, I, I even get, get confused, but it's terribly disturbing that you notice the difference. <laughs> well, Susie made that change, so right? Once or twice, I mean, right? Yeah, I'm going to ask her. I will. I will. I will. Yeah, have you guys been back, uh, like, the drive-in and all that stuff? Yeah. 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 Well, we've been to a few spots. You know, there's a lot of locations, right, based around the Curtis house, which we spent time at. You know, we got the park and John Kate's house and the old lot, and um, there's a lot of locations there that we shot at. So it's always very nostalgic, and a lot of people say, what do you think, what do you think? You know, and I think I can't really remember what I did yesterday, and <laughs> I'm trying to remember what I did 35 years ago, but for the most part, it's still, that area hasn't changed a lot. You know, it's it's pretty similar, which is eerie and also cool. Yeah. Okay. How about how much more time? Anybody watch the clock? Are we good? That intense rebel scene. The God of the Sun says one more. Well, what do you think about the circle and its transformation? Oh yeah, let's talk about the circle. Well, that's been awesome. What a great, what a great thing was that. John, does she still have? So we're gonna come back to you. Hold on. Intense, intense rebel scene. How many? How many? much injury did the cast actually endure that was unintentional? Well, uh, I, know, I know because of the mud and the rain there were a lot of accidents and we had uh, choreographed and trained the, the rumble sequence for about two to two and a half weeks before we started shooting it and I know I had quite an elaborate fight with punches being thrown and things and uh, due to the rain of the very first punch thrown, stuck person, a very good friend of mine named Reed Rondell, um, was hired to throw the first punch and slipped in the mud and hit me right in the jaw. And, oh. and, and so, of course, you know, I, I can barely like, think. And uh, I go to Francis, I'm like, so, you know, he, he hit me in the face. That's not supposed to happen. It was supposed to be a thing. He goes, yeah, and now Pony Boy gets hit in the face and drug off by Matt Dillon. <laughs> so that was my incredible rumble sequence. But everybody, took shots at but you know, you can't. You can't do those scenes and, you know, really kind of go for it. And, you know, you got some of the personal where you do get some exuberant local kids coming in and being like, this is my chance. You know? <laughs> and a few shots to the ribs later, you know, like, listen, this is my chance, USOB. <laughs> so those fights get intense, but um, for the most part, going back real quick to wrap it up, the Circle Theater is just great for them to host us here and you know it's a landmark it's another great location iconic location and you know i remember stepping out of those doors and, and uh, it's that great opening when i stepped out into the bright sunlight in the darkness of the movie house i had two things on my mind oh. 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 Oh.